The Fort Mainland Bridge will be the longest bridge in Africa when completed. This ambitious and futuristic bridge will start from Lekki and run 38 kilometers all the way to the Lagos Ibado Expressway. It will not only ease traffic congestion in Lagos, it will open up many towns and villages for development. Before we see the different towns and cities this Fort Mainland Bridge will pass through, let's see the features of this bridge. While we are doing that, click the subscribe button now and enable notification. Thanks. Just like how the Third Mainland Bridge we are currently driving on broke records when construction finished in the 80s, the Fort Mainland Bridge will break even more records. Yes, this bridge will cost $2.2 billion to build. That's more than 1 trillion naira, and it will be the first bridge of this magnitude that will be constructed without federal funding. Yeah, instead, it will be entirely funded by the private sector. These private sector funds will be coming from Africa Development Bank, Access Bank, and others. The Fort Mainland Bridge will have a dual carriage four lane freeway with a dedicated lane for the bus rapid transit, plus a two meter wide hard shoulder. They also plan to leave a general space in the middle for future expansion, most especially to accommodate a light railway system. The bridge is designed for high speeds of up to 120 km per hour. It is also expected to have a lower deck to accommodate what the designers call Lagos Life. Yes, the design of this bridge is so ambitious to the extent that it looks more like science fiction than something they will actually build for real. Will they include all the tiny details like having restaurants and associated services and also general viewing gallery for people to have fun? What about this man-made island that will rival Echo Atlantic City? Will they include it in the construction? By the way, in case you didn't watch the video we made about the Echo Atlantic City, make sure to check it out in the video description. Thanks. Yes, it will be great if they include all the details during the construction of the bridge. It will make the bridge really stand out both in aesthetics and architecture. Yeah, developing countries have the opportunity to look more beautiful than developed countries because they can take advantage of the new and efficient designs that, are, uh, that weren't available many years ago when developed countries were built. Yeah. Anyway, we just have to wait and see. Yeah, and we wouldn't be waiting long because the Fort Mainland Bridge has never been closer to being built since the idea was conceptualized by the government in 2003. Yes, this time, the Lagos state government is serious about constructing the Fort Mainland Bridge. They are right now in the process of selecting the preferred bidder for the project, which according to the government, the preferred and reserved bidders will be known very soon and contract award for the Fort Mainland Bridge will finally be done in either November or December. In fact, the government is promising that the award of the contract must be done this year. Yeah. They are also ironing out the legal issues and the right of way of the bridge, including compensations for the owners of the more than 800 properties and buildings that lie on the bridge path. Yeah. Before we continue on the features of this magnificent Lagos Fort Mainland Bridge, let's take a look at the many cities and towns that this bridge will traverse. And guys, remember you can support us by subscribing to our channel. Yeah, push the subscribe button now and enable notification. Thanks. The Fort Mainland Bridge will start from Lekki, precisely from around 
Abraham Adesanya roundabout in the Lekki Epe Expressway. Yeah. Then it will go on to Aja and Lambasa areas in what makes up the island section of the 38 km bridge. The second section of the bridge is a lagoon section and it is 4.5 km in length. It connects the Lekki Peninsula to the mainland. The bridge continues between Baeku and Ijeden villages up to Ikurudu Epe Expressway and Isawo Road and finally to the Lagos Badagri Expressway. Wow, what a wonderful path for this bridge. Yes, this is a well planned, thought out and designed path for this bridge. It will ease a lot of pressure and traffic on the Todd Mainland Bridge and suddenly Ikurudu will be within reach from Lekki instead of making the 70 km journey through the Todd Mainland Bridge. It will be less than 30 km through the Fort Mainland Bridge. This bridge not only makes commute shorter, it also opens up many towns and villages for development, especially real estate. Considering how expensive homes are in Lekki and Aja areas, it will push a lot of people into many villages that this bridge will open up. Part of the reasons homes are expensive in our country is not only because there are fewer homes, but because the infrastructure that should support living far away from the city centers are not sufficient. If everyone is clustered around the city center, the demand for real estate will definitely be higher than the supply, thereby pushing prices to the roof. Yes, but things are gradually changing. Within a few months, someone working in Lagos Island can comfortably live as far as Ogun State and go to work by train. Yes, you can watch the video we did about the Lagos Rail Mass Transit. See the link in the video description. Thanks. Alright, more on the features of the Fort Mainland Bridge. It will have a total of 8 interchanges in every town or city it passes. This is to improve interconnectivity between the many towns that the bridge will traverse. It will also make it easier for motorists to make a U-turn, unlike the Todd Mainland Bridge. And now to the most important part, how the government intends to pay back the loans for the huge project. Yes, the Fort Mainland Bridge will have three toll plazas. This is why Lagos is an attractive investment destination. Lagos has the market and population. This method of using tolls to pay back loans that we have taken to finance huge projects have been tested and proven effective many times in Lagos, most especially the Lekki Ikoyi Link Bridge. This is why investors are falling over each other to invest in Lagos infrastructural projects. Some people are concerned about the huge debt profile of Lagos State, but it's not actually how much you owe that matters, but your ability to pay back your loans. Lagos is the fifth largest economy in Africa, it has the market and the population, and it will definitely fulfill all her obligations. This is what makes Lagos unique and an investor's paradise. Okay guys, we hope you learned a lot about the Fort Mainland Bridge. Like the video if you enjoyed it and also remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. Till next time, thanks for watching.